and welcome to my channel. So if you notice this is a little bit different, uh, you get to see my face full screen, because why not? Um, and so if you couldn't tell by the title of the video down below over here, um, we are actually going to be going over a little bit of Twitch and how it works and uh, a couple of little things around the page uh, so that you can kind of get to know Twitch a little bit better, um, especially if you are brand new to Twitch. Uh, I know I was brand new to Twitch at one point, aka one year ago. Um, so in other words, this is also probably going to be one giant branding and advertisement for my Twitch channel, um, which is of course linked down below and it'll be uh, right up here in this corner. Um, but it is Jasmine's Sim. I do mostly play The Sims on there. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to hop into the uh, Twitch website and we're going to go over it a little bit and kind of talk about some of the different features where you can find stuff and uh, how to customize your stream. So anyway, so this is the Twitch main page. Um, I'm going to move gonna move me up here. Why not? Um, so if you notice over here on the left, these are my follow channels. These are people that I follow and then uh, you can always hit show more. I got I got a lot of people I'm following. Um, it gives you your recommended channels just like YouTube does. If you hit this little Twitch button, it brings you back to this home page, um, which kind of gives you what they think you like based on what you've watched, what you stream yourself, that sort of thing. Over here in the top right, you'll see this little button here it has your name, has your picture, um, and how you want to be viewed on the uh, page. I didn't select invisible, but I guess we will go with that for now. Um, so you can select online or you can select invisible depending on how you uh, want to be perceived. Um, you can switch between light mode and dark mode. I prefer dark mode just because I generally am. Um, it, it's usually up on my second screen and I don't want it to display a lot of light back on me. I, that's why I have custom lights and beautiful lights everywhere. In fact, Oh, hey, that probably looks a little better. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, so if you come here, this is your channel. So this will be, this will bring you to your channel that, um, that you broadcast out. Over here is the chat room. Um, so this way, if you're, if you are just looking to watch Twitch and you just want a little bit of information, um, essentially this is what most pages are going to look like. Um, it will have the big screen here for what you are someone is streaming this is where you will see it all um, here's a chat room you'll typically see things going up we're gonna switch over to flip switch real quick uh, so you can kind of get a real-time view of what it looks like um, so if you want to sub there's a button up here uh, mine says continue sub because uh, my subs getting ready to run out um, but here is the chat room there is bits for subscribing and bits are only for people that are affiliate or partnered um, I am currently affiliated and um, so I get to receive bits and receive subs to my channel. Um, the little heart is if you want to follow them and then the bell is if you want to turn notifications on and then it will send an email or a push notification to directly to your phone. So you can see here people are starting to fill the chat up. Um, if you want to give somebody bits you just hit this little button here and there's all sorts of different bit options you can choose. So if you hit this one, all right, for every bit you give a streamer, they get one penny. So if you give them a hundred bits, they get a dollar, that sort of thing. Um, so you can just type in here. Usually they have rules. If, if there's rules, then it pops up. Um, but if you scroll down, you'll see that there is their panels here. And I have panels on my stream as well, um, which are here. So if you're on your own page, if you are deciding that you want to stream, uh, but you can see here I have a whole bunch of different panels. Uh, there is my socials here. So and when you're in the edit panels, it does they do tend to give you like little hints and tricks on how to do all that. So, but if you ever want to add anything down here, you just hit this little button that says edit panels. It took me forever to find it. So, just so you know. <laughs> um, but if you come back over here. Uh, if you go to video producer, so for every video that you still have on Twitch, um, it stores it for up to 14 days for regular um, regular streamers. If you have Twitch Prime, if you're a Turbo user, or if you are partnered, it stores it for 60 days. And since I am, uh, since I have Twitch Prime, it also stores all mine for 60 days, which is really nice. Not that um, here's the dashboard. We'll come back to this because there's a lot to cover on the dashboard. But if we keep scrolling down, here's a list of my friends. You can have friends and you can have followers. Friends are people, it's it's essentially like Facebook. You send a friend request and if they accept, you guys are friends. If not, then you're not friends. That sort of thing. Um, here's a list of my subscriptions. Um, 
that's who you're subscribed to, not who is subscribed to you. Um, inventory is, in, I guess, for in-game loot. Uh, payments just covers how how everything is paid for on your Twitch. So if you want to use it for buying biddies, um, we're going to keep moving on, though. And then you can go to your settings page. Um, and this is where you can update your profile picture, your profile banner. Um, and then if you scroll down, you can ha you can also update your bio. So this way it says a little bit about you, who you are as a streamer. Um, and then it goes over to your Twitch Prime. If you have Twitch Prime, you get to select your own color for your username. Um, and then you can select which kind of emotes you want to use. A free Prime sub because you get one every month. Um, it does not renew to that person. So if you want to renew to that person, you have to go back to their page at the end of your subscription and renew. Um, I believe it does it like five days before. Uh, you can you can resub approximately five days before it um, expires. Um, so here is where you can find all sorts of different options. So there's like chat options here. So if you have auto mod, you can have that enabled, disabled. Um, if you want to block hyperlinks, if somebody must have a verified email address, which if you're a very small streamer or if you're doing things that are generally out of the ordinary or against the stereotypical norm, I would honestly suggest that you have enabled because um, otherwise you can get trolls and then they end up because anybody can make an account and then go chat. They don't have to have a verified email to chat in everyone's chat room. So that's what I would suggest. You don't have to take that advice. Um, but um, So then you can also set your own rules. Um, here's where you will find any banned people from your chat. Mine's empty. Apparently all the banned accounts got deleted. Um, for security and privacy. Um, here's where you can change your password if you want to enable two-factor authentication. Um, if you want to block whispers from strangers. And whispers are essentially um, a private message. Um, you can also receive, you can also block receiving gifts from channels you don't follow. Because in, in the chat or in the channel, they can gift subscriptions out. So what can happen is somebody can say, hey, I want to gift a subscription to someone else. Um, your notifications, if you want to have notifications. This is where you can connect your Amazon account in case you have Amazon Prime, which if you do have Amazon Prime, I do suggest checking it out because uh, you can get special deals, you can get in-game loot, you can get, um, you get free games. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff you get with Twitch Prime, so I definitely suggest it if you have Amazon Prime. And then there's lastly recommendations, um, and then of course you can just log out. But let's go back to that dashboard thing that we were talking about. So this is my dashboard. This is generally what I watch when I am streaming. And it's, so this way I can keep an eye on my frame rates. I can keep an eye on the stream. I can keep an eye on how my video feed is going. Um, it also helps me keep an eye on, like here, this one is for how many viewers I have. This one is for how long I've been broadcasting. This is for if anybody has, has created any clips from the video and then I do currently have four subscribers so it also lists that as well and then it show, tells you how many followers you also have here it gives us a list of who we are currently hosting and then if you click the box it gives you a list of who to raid or to host so if we click flip switch we can click raid or we can click host um, and then there's a list of people who auto host you and then over here, like I said, here's the video preview. My face is kind of taking up a little bit of that space. Um, but this box will actually typically have a graph. It'll show you, okay, if, if you're pretty steady, that's good. That means that your keyframes are being kept at approximately the same level. Um, if they're kind of all over the place, there's a good chance you're getting lag for some of your viewers or um, you're, you'll be having issues with the stream in general. You'll drop frames, you'll skip frames, that sort of thing. So you always kind of want to keep an eye on them. Um, and I always suggest doing stream tests because then you can find out, okay, this is what I want to do. And then if you find out that you're all over the place, you can adjust some settings, do a stream test. Oh, it evened out. Perfect. Now I can go back to what I was doing before. Um, and here it tells you how to run a stream test. So if you just hit the button, it says just go into your software that you use to broadcast. Um, but you can just copy paste this little portion right here. Attach it to the end of your stream key. Um, we are not doing a Streamlabs OBS tutorial here, not today. Um, 
in the future we will be. Uh, but for right now, we are not doing a um, demonstration on that. But essentially, you just copy and paste that to the end of your stream key. And then once you hit live, it doesn't actually make you live. It essentially makes it private, pretty much. Um, you're live, but nobody can view you. Your uh, followers don't get a notification. Um, just always remember when you are done testing to remove it. Because the last thing you want to do is the next time you want to go stream. And then suddenly you're like, why it, Why is it not popping up on Twitch? Why it, Definitely make sure you remove this little portion here before you go to uh, stream. Uh, but here's where you can set your stream title. Um, I, there is, I can't quite remember how many. There's 140 characters for you to play with. Um, here's your go live notification. What you are doing, so if you're playing, I think they have most games. I would probably say 90% of games that are out there, they have on there. They just recently introduced tags, auto selects your language, and then what you're doing. So it's a simulation type game, so it automatically selected that tag for me. Um, you can also restrict your chat language, so people always have to use a certain language in your chat. So if you actually speak another language, you can always select that from the options. Uh, always make sure you hit update information, otherwise it'll just end up sending out whatever was there before. Um, so that's just the live page. Not everything is in de as much in detail as this page is. This has the most amount of information. If you hold these dots, you can actually rearrange the page to however you want them. But if you move on down here, we have extensions. This is where you can get all sorts of different extensions and stuff for your stream. Um, if you saw the little schedule here, this is an extension. Um, if you come down here to achievements, it gives you a list of all the different achievements that are available. Um, but this gives you kind of like a idea of like how to get started, how to do what it is that you want to do. I want to build that community. I want to get the community where I want it to be. I want to see a lot of people enjoying and interacting and just hanging out. You know, that's what Twitch is really for. It doesn't honestly truly matter what you're streaming. I mean, that's a portion of it. It, it is. It's a portion of it. But people are there to see you. They're, you, they're there to talk to you, they're there to watch you play, they're there to hang out with you. If you're not interacting with your chatters or your viewers or anything, they're not going to come back. Anyway, so we're going to move on here. So events, so if, you, there, if there's something in mind that you want to do, if you want to say, hey, look, I'm going to be premiering with such and such person, come hang out with us when this time happens, you can make an event, you can set the time, date, you can drop an image. All sorts of stuff. I personally haven't used it. Um, if you go to activity, this shows you everything you've ever done for your channel. Ever. Um, if you go to streaming tools, this is where you can actually find software for you to try out. If you find that what you're using you don't like, um, you can come here and try it all out. Um, Streamlabs OBS right here is what I use to stream. And then o open broadcast software is what everybody calls OBS. Essentially, Streamlabs OBS is they took regular OBS and smashed it with the Streamlabs that's down here. You kind of get the best of both worlds with it, which is what my personal preference is. Then we can move down here to channel. So this shows all the different analytics for your channel. So it says that I've had 4.6 average viewers for the last 30 days. Um, I've had 449 views for the last 30 days. I've gained 20 followers over the last 30 days. Um, I've gained $16 for the last 30 days, and I have had three subscriptions in the last 30 days. This breaks it down even more. Um, you can also email your subs. So if you do have a, quite a few subs, um, every once in a while it would be nice to send them an email. Just say, hey, thanks for being subbed to the channel. It means a lot. Um, I just recently did that for one of my, for, for myself. When they reply back to it, it's not they don't get your personal email. They get essentially something from Twitch sent to you, sent to them. Um, you can also download your subscriber list. And then, so then for all these streams here combined, it gives you a list here of all the different streams that you did. This gives you a list of what other channels that people are watching when they watch yours. Um, and then what categories they like to watch. So 74% of my viewers also like to watch The Sims 4. 15% of them also like to watch Fortnite. 
6% of them like just chatting, 4% Overwatch, and so on and so forth. Depending on what you're doing, you may find it be more diverse. Sometimes it won't be as diverse. In order to actually become very good on Twitch, you also have to make sure that you're also interacting with other people on Twitch. You can't just say, oh, well, I'm just broadcasting and I don't understand why people aren't coming to my channel. People don't know you. They don't know who you are, especially when you're first starting out. And the same rule applies to me, too. If you're in someone else's channel, um, it's kind of like an unspoken rule, but just in case you haven't heard it yet, when you're in someone else's channel and you're going to go live, don't sit there and go, hey, going to go live, and then just leave. That's rude. That's especially rude and disrespectful to the person that is streaming. Overall, that's just disrespectful. So just remember to keep that in mind. Um, here is the stream summary. So this kind of gives me an idea of what happened over the last stream. And it goes back, I think, the last 60, 60 days for myself because I have Twitch Prime. Um, this gives you a more in-depth look of when people were viewing. So at 9.05, I peaked at 7.2 viewers. Um, again, if you come here to Video Producer, this is the exact same page as the one that's here. Um, it just brings you up all those. Uh, video moderation, in case you have anything that needs to be uh, addressed. Collections, if you want to make your best videos, your best clips, you can put them here. Um, here's where you can find all sorts of clips. These are clips I've created. And then you can also go to clips of my channel. And these are all the clips someone has made of yours for you. If you hit channel here, this will give you your stream key. If you hit copy, it just copies it directly to your uh, clipboard. You can then go into your recording software, paste, and that's it. That's all that's done with it. Um, you can check to store past broadcasts. Um, um, and again, it's 14 days for pretty much regular people, 60 days if you're partnered, a turbo user, or a prime user. Um, you can select the mature content button if you generally tend to curse um, or use generally more adult themes in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, maybe if you're playing violent video games, that might be a good suggestion to turn that on. Um, then there's normal latency and then low latency. Low latency is as close as they're going to get to to seeing you as you exactly are. Um, normal latency, generally there's a few seconds of a delay. Um, low latency, there's still usually a good two to four second delay between what you put out and what they see. Um, essentially, it's just putting it out as fast as possible in order to get it so this way they can watch you when you're doing all that. And then here's where you'll find your permissions, who, uh, who can stream to your channel, um, and then channels you manage. Here is where you'll find your video player banner. So when you're offline, you can have a banner up so this way they know where to find your other content. Um, here is where you can do all your auto hosting, host teams, post pre-recorded videos. Um, then there's a hosting priority. If you want to just host whoever's randomly on the list, then you can do that. Or if you want to host by the order that they appear, you can do that too. Um, my host list is here. Um, and then raids. Raids are when people come in from um, another channel. So let's say that I was streaming live, and for the sake of argument, because Flip Switch is live, um, if he's live and he decides, hey, I'm going to end my stream, um, what he can do is he can hit raid, which is also there on that dashboard button that you saw. Um, and what it does is it takes all their viewers and drops them into your channel. Um, people can opt out of a raid, so they don't have to go. Um, but generally, if they don't do anything, it just passes them on. And a lot of people do raids because it's a good way of passing along viewers. They can discover other channels. Because there's a good chance that if you're raiding someone, that then you two aren't streaming at the same time. So it's usually something just kind of nice to do. Um, keep in mind, not everyone is friendly. Um, any uploaded videos, you can also upload videos like you can to YouTube. You can upload those to Twitch as well. Um, and then here is the roles. These are all the people that are modded in my channel. So these are all moderators so they can ban people, kick people, um, time out other people, that sort of thing. Um, once you become a little bit bigger, I usually suggest getting a couple of mods. Um, they're mostly people that have been in my chat a long time. And I give it to them because they've been here a while. So they know how the, the flow of stream goes. 
they know what I'm willing to tolerate, what I'm not willing to tolerate. Um, so in case, like, I'm elbow deep in my game, then they don't have, I don't have to worry about something slipping through. So they can just delete the message or ban the user or that sort of thing. Um, and then here is moderation. This is the auto mod section. So if there's any information that you, uh, or if there's anything that you specifically don't feel comfortable with, you can always put those in here. You can also do block terms and phrases. So if there's any phrases that come up, you can just type those in there, hit add, and those messages when they get put in there will automatically be blocked. Um, if there is any that are in the commonly blocked terms that you are okay with, you can add those in there and it will be permitted. Lastly, we have the affiliate page. And so this gives you just the onboarding. So it gives you information that says, these are our terms and conditions of you becoming an affiliate on Twitch. Here's your payout method. This is where you enter in all your tax information. Um, so your address, your name, that sort of stuff. And then the affiliate agreement, which is where it says, okay, now that you've gone through all this, you have to agree to our terms and conditions. Then you can do subscription names. So if I had a better idea for what tier one, tier two, and tier three subs would be, then they would be renamed. Uh, but once you become an affiliate, you get options to create emotes. I have two emotes currently on my channel. I have the little heart with a biscuit because it is named after my dog. And then I have my dog as the second emotion or emoticon. Um, and then you can always upload, you can upload one for each tier as an affiliate. Once you become partner, then you can open up a whole bunch more. Um, and then there's loyalty badges. That's brand new to affiliates within approximately the last six ish months. Um, I have my own sub badges. I have one for three, for the base three months, six months, and then one year. Um, and then two to eight years after you become partner. So that's pretty much it. I think that's a good roundabout uh, description of Twitch. There's a lot of stuff to take in. Um, again, here's where we back to the home page. Oh, if you hit this little bell here, it gives you all the notifications of everything that's happened. So if you get gifted any subs, if there's um, any achievements you hit, all that stuff drops here. Um, and then Prime Loot, if you have Twitch Prime, you can then come in here, come in here and claim offers, get information on them. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, there was one for Black Friday where you could pay twenty-five dollars and got twenty-five hundred biddies, which was actually a really good freaking deal because you're paying direct amounts for them, and then that gets passed on directly to the streamer, which is kind of nice. So anyway. Make sure you definitely come and check out my Twitch channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Even if you just came out, checked out a VOD, and said, Hey, you know what? Why don't you seeing her live? Definitely come and hang out. I do live stream on Twitch three days a week, Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, all at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love it if you could come and hang out and chat. Anyway, guys, so definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can catch more videos just like this one and all my Sim stuff. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.